everyone, welcome back to BCC Kids. It's so good to have you here. My name is Ellie and today we are continuing with our theme, All Things Strange and Wonderful. So in today's story, we're gonna be looking at a man called Balaam and his pet donkey. Now, Balaam was not very good at obeying what God told him to do. So in today's story, you're gonna hear a lot of strange things. And if you don't believe me, our story comes from numbers. So you can check it out with today's story and see what strange and wonderful things there are. Let's go. The story begins with a king called Balak. This king was king of Moab. He had seen the Israelites were camping next to Moab's land. All his people became scared that they may take their land. So the king had to do something to protect his land. He remembered a man named Balaam, who was a prophet. The king had a plan to get Balaam to curse the Israelites. He wrote him a letter and sent a couple of his men to deliver this letter, along with lots and lots of money. Well, hello, good evening. What can I do for you today? This letter explains everything. Okay. I think it's, so it's all in here, okay. <sighs> look, look, lots, lots of people, of people have, arrived have arrived from, from Egypt. Egypt. They cover, they cover the, face the face of the earth, 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 earth and, and are threatening me. me. Please, Please come, come and curse, and curse these people, people for me because, because they, are they are too powerful, powerful for, me. for me. Then perhaps, then perhaps I will be I'll able, be to, able conquer to conquer them, them and get them get out, them out of, of my land. land. Well, he's a bit dramatic, isn't he? No, okay. Well, why don't you guys stay the night and I'll see what God says to me. So come in, come, come find a seat and I'll go find you some sleeping stuff. Be right back. Ah, here, I found everything. So I hope you're good at catching because it's coming quick. You'll need a pillow, you can probably need another pillow. Here's a duvet, you're gonna need to stay warm. Another pillow. Ah, here they are, you'll need some PJs. Night fell and the stars were shining and the moon was dazzling. Then God spoke. Oh, they're just some friends, God. Um, so the king has asked me just to go over to his place and curse his neighbours. Uh, do you want to come with me? Do not go with them. You are not to curse these people, for they have been blessed. Oh. But they already paid me. <laughs> so, what did God say? Can you come? Can you help us? Well, he, he, yeah, I can come. It will be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> So let's go, let's pack up our things. Yes, let's go. All they had to do was leave Balaam's house, travel through the desert, turn right when they see the mountains, then travel to the forest, go through the forest, then go through a path where there are two walls either side. That is quite tight. And then, when they see the volcano and the mountain, they have to travel through that to get to the king's palace. So he prepared his donkey and followed the kings that morning. But God was very cross. God sent an angel of the Lord to stand in the road to block his way. Tree, tree, another tree. Ooh, stones. 
Another stone. Ooh, and another stone. What's that up ahead? It's not a tree. It's not a stone. It looks like a person. Ooh, ow! Oh, I don't like it when he bounces up and down on my back. It really hurts. Oh, anyway, the shiny man's gone now, so I can keep going. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a place where it was quite narrow. The donkey turned the corner and saw the angel standing there. The donkey tried squeezing, but crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. Then the angel got closer and closer, so it was impossible to get past. But then something incredible happened. Ow! Ow! Stop jumping up and down on me! Do you think I like it, you know? Do you think I do? You know, I've been loyal to you all your life and this is how you treat me, you know? This, this, okay? But it's fine because, we, we know, we got to do what you want to do, you know? Nobody asks, you know, do you want some water? Do you want to sit down? Do you want to lie down? And get paid for cursing his neighbours. That's all you want, okay? That, that's it. That's it. But once again, it's all about you, 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 you. And the donkey spoke. God gave the donkey the ability to talk to Balaam because Balaam clearly wasn't getting it. Then the angel appeared to Balaam. Look, I have come to block your way because you are so stubborn and keep resisting me. Three times the donkey saw me and shielded you. I'm so sorry, please. I know I did something wrong. I know I've sinned. I know. I didn't see you. I'm really, 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 really sorry. Go on your way then. But make sure you always listen to God because he'll tell you what to do next. So that's the story in the Bible about a talking donkey. How strange. Imagine you had an invisible talking donkey on your shoulder, helping you do what's right. Well, you don't need an invisible donkey because everyone who follows Jesus has the Holy Spirit inside of us. You know, this story shows us how important it is to have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to know the right decisions. In John chapter 14, verse 16 to 17, it says, I will ask the Father and he will give you another, who can lead you and never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads us into truth. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but we know it's always there, helping us and guiding us. And it shines out of us, kind of like this. So let's head to craft now. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to Craft and today we are making donkeys like this one. So what you're going to need for this craft is scissors, a big cup and a small cup, glue, pen and you'll need to find some material that you can use. Maybe you can cut up an old t-shirt or your mum's got some material um, around the house. But don't worry if you don't have material, you can use paper instead. And if you're going to use paper, you can also get some colouring pens or pencils. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your cup. You're going to get a pen and you're going to get some material. And you're going to draw around the cup. And then you're going to cut it out. And that goes the same for paper. So you're going to draw around the cup on a piece of paper and cut it out. You're going to take your second piece of material, you're going to get a pen and you're going to get a smaller cup and you're going to draw around that and once you've drawn it out you can then cut it. Same for paper. Then 
once you've cut it out like this, you're going to take another piece of material and we're going to draw the ears onto this one. And this goes the same for paper. Then you're going to get some black material and you're going to start cutting out the eyes, the nose and the mouth. But if you don't want to cut it out, that's okay because you can use a pen instead and draw his eyes, mouth and nose on instead and that's the same for paper. cut out the mouth and the eyes and the nose you can start gluing everything together now and that goes the same for paper and you can start decorating your donkey should look something like this. If you're doing paper don't forget to decorate it now but please send in all your pictures into bccskids at bcc.life and we would love to see them and pop your donkeys up on the website. So I'll see you again next week for another craft. Bye! So before we finish today guys let's all put our hands together, close our eyes and bow our heads to stop us from any other distractions. Lord, I thank you for this strange and wonderful story today. I want to pray for the Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray that everyone watching today will invite him in, Lord, that we will be open this week to your Holy Spirit. I pray we each take something away from today's story, Lord, that we can do this week. Amen. So I hope you enjoyed our session today and I will see you again next week for more. Bye.